thank you for joining us on Travel Time today. Today I've got Amy Coley here with us and we're going to talk with Amy about her, her trip to Mazatlan. Thanks for joining us, Amy. Thank you. Um, I especially wanted to make mention of the fact that you went as a family uh, vacation to Mazatlan. You've got a six-year-old, right? Yeah. Yep. And was this her first time to Mexico? Nope, she went last year as well. Wow, she gets to Mexico more than some of us do, doesn't she? That's yeah, great. she's a little spoiled in that department. <laughs> well, and and right off the bat, then how did you feel about safety as going to uh, Mexico um, as a family? So uh, we didn't have any problems, and we didn't even really see anything that looked like it was unsafe uh, at all. Um, we didn't feel any. Mm -hmm you know fear or anything of going anywhere yeah. so uh, good and that's that's good to know too it's good to remind people that really a lot of the problems that Mexico has had are are those right over the border type of problems especially now in the newest so right. so that's good so you'd keep returning to Mexico I would take it as oh, a family yeah. great yep. good good now you stayed at the Rio Emerald Bay in um, in Mazatlan now tell me about the resort a little bit correct um the resort was very nice it's um, brand new they just opened in June and um, it's out in the country kind of a little bit you're not in the golden zone where you're around a ton of tourist stuff but you can walk like 10 minutes down the street and there's like a little strip mall and a coffee shop and a little bit more of the local fair and a little restaurant on the beach and a place to ride horse so you're out of it but not totally and it was okay. a really nice place to be well, that's good. And you, being all inclusive, mm -hmm. um, you guys went all inclusive. There are lots of restaurants there. How was the food? The food was good. Um, my daughter's a very picky eater, and she okay. always found something to eat. Oh, good. Um, well, there were so many options that I felt if you couldn't find something you liked, then you really had a problem. Okay. You know, there was a lot to choose from. Okay, that's good to know. Um, you went on a side excursion or a tour mm -hmm. from the property. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, it was uh, it was really good. We went to Stone Island, and um, the tour was very affordable. And uh, we've been other places in Mexico, and it was usually like a hundred per person, and it okay. was. $85 for all three of us, and that included our food and drinks all day, um, plus two activities. So okay. um, it was a fun place to go and relax and just to mm -hmm. get out of the resort a little bit. And, and did I hear you accidentally ended up on the wrong tour? And, yes, and we did. <laughs> someone realized that right away? You said they were very helpful down there as yes. far as... Um, we just got on the wrong shuttle and um, the guy that was helping us out at the resort he um, found us Great. somehow uh, and found us got us back on to the right shuttle and got us to where we needed to be good. so it was nice good so. I um, I you'd also mentioned that your um, your person that was helping you out with those sort of things the transfer um, and that sort of things from the resort he was very helpful in a lot of ways oh very helpful I mean he even took us back to the airport, made sure we got through security and customs. Uh, I've never had that before. Great. Um, so that was really nice. And yeah. Good, good. Helpful. Well, and that's just one of the vacation packages that we can book for travelers. And sometimes you end up with those people that do want to be extra helpful or they've got that extra time. They want to just kind of be sure that they that you're in the right place at the right time and, right. and see you along. Well, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. um, how was the weather while you were there? It was nice. Um, the days were hot and um, unexpectedly there were evenings were cooler. Uh, we didn't know that when we got there because um, everywhere else we've been had been hot all the time. Um, so a jacket at evening would be nice. <laughs> okay. That's good to know. That's good to know. Anything else you'd like to tell me about right now um, about the trip? The other thing too is right next to the hotel there's a place to ride horse and um, I'd re highly recommend it. Um, the horses are well taken care of and she picks really good horses for each individual person so that was awesome. And because you had your daughter on that excursion yep. and everything, she right? rode a horse by herself oh, and that's excellent. away they went so it was great. Great and that was uh, right next to the Rio Emerald Bay then you were Correct. able to pick up that, yep. that little tour. That's wonderful. Yeah. All right. And uh, just to close, um, as far as uh, Mexico for a family, you would continue to go back there and... Yep. It, it's, it's a lot of fun and it's educational for them too because they can uh, figure out you know that there are other people in the world besides Ooh. Minnesota. Yeah, yeah. You had said your daughter was playing with some gal uh, for with a couple of people from different nations. Yeah. So yep. That's so wonderful. That's great. 
Thank you for joining us on Travel Time today. You can contact us here at 847-9231. We're located in the Washington Square Mall. And be sure to check our board uh, right in the doorway of the store here for our weekly specials. Thanks for joining us today, Amy. Thank you.